You know, I really like tea. What is up everybody? Welcome back to the channel. And guys, we made it. We are now so recognized the channel that I had my very first attack video made on me. So yeah, a guy by the name of The Spectrum Project made a video called TF2 YouTuber Milk Source Code Leaks. And uh, since he made this video about me, I thought I would take a little bit of time today and respond to it. Now obviously I don't want to become a, another drama channel, and honestly this is probably the last video I'm going to make over the whole TF2 Source Code Week stuff. Um, I still want to make positive content that everybody enjoys. I want to make good stuff about TF2, um, like guides, loadouts, experiment videos. I still want to do the viewer live streams and all that other great stuff. I want to have positive stuff on the channel. Don't want it to be too overly negative. But I thought we could check out this guy's video today, listen to his criticism, and uh, maybe give a little feedback. So that's what we're going to do. And uh, let's go ahead and get started. All right, so just a heads up before I get into things. This video is not focused on the source leaks. Information about it could change at any time, and I really could sound like a fool tomorrow. And at the time of recording this, not many people know what could happen. It's honestly up in the air how this could affect people, and I've heard that a lot of stuff has been faked. That's actually true. There has been a lot of stuff that was fake. All those alerts that said, ha ha, I hacked you and installed malware. Um, the little cheats that put up like this little command prompt box and tell you your IP address, somebody's IP address and their longitude and latitude location, all that stuff, all that's fake. Nothing more than fancy little batch files and Photoshop pictures. According to proof. So yeah, take this with a grain of salt. People honestly don't know what this truly means, and I've researched this from many different websites, Reddit, Twitter, everything I could possibly find, and it's really difficult to find legit information on how this could work. Look, here's the thing. Fine. Listen, I'm um, gonna be honest with you. I, I'm kind of retarded. Okay. I'm sorry. If what you did for research was you went on Reddit and Twitter, you didn't do research, okay? You're not going to find any good research on Reddit and Twitter. Those are the sites where people will just post whatever the stink they want. They'll parrot anything they were heard. There's basically very little factual that you will find on either of those websites. If you wanted to do research on the whole source code leaks and how that affected the game, you should have looked more into tech websites. You should have looked up what an RCE exploit actually is, uh, how it endangers somebody's computer, and you should have like looked more into the technical aspect. If you'd read some articles from some tech websites, that would have been good research. Just seeing what other people are saying on Reddit and Twitter, that's not gonna tell you anything. That's what started this whole problem to begin with, was everybody just going on Reddit and Twitter and basically telling everybody else everything they'd been heard and blowing everything way, way, way out of proportion. And a lot of it could be faked. Honestly, I, I haven't found anything, to my knowledge, yet that this could be harmful. But it very well should not be a risk people are willing to take if they really want to support this game or if they want to stay safe. Well, that's the thing. There never was a real risk. There was never a risk that you could have a virus download your computer or get your account hacked or anything. That was just all hearsay that people said because they didn't really quite understand how computers worked um, or how the games were set up or really much of anything at all. Which is what I was trying to tell people the whole time, is this: there's no real threat here. There's just people hearing something scary and running with it. But that's not what this video is about. It's this guy, Kez Gaming. <gasps> he knows my name! <gasps> He's live streaming right now as I speak. And, um... He's getting a fairly decent amount of viewers watching right now. And proportionate to his subscriber count, and that's because he's he's clearly milking it. He's clearly milk, milking this situation. Actually, I was not milking the situation at all. What really happened is I was in a Discord group where everybody was freaking out about Team Fortress 2 because it was a TF2 Discord group. And I was trying to calm people down and say, hey, no, guys, there's no real threat here. 
or anything. There's not a virus. The game's perfectly safe. That's not how viruses work. And nobody believed me. And one fellow challenged me. He said, well, if you're so confident, go and play the game. Go stream it on your stupid little YouTube channel. And so I said, okay, I will. Because I was thinking, well, I hadn't played the game in a couple of months, but I'll download it, I'll play it, uh, and I'll prove to people that it's safe to play. And I thought I would get like 20 viewers tops, which would have been really good for me. I had no idea that I would get 600, 700 viewers at one time. I never could have possibly dreamed that. I'm very happy it worked out that way and that more people heard my message uh, and I could tell them, hey, the game is safe to play. But that's not what I was going for at all. I was not trying to milk it. And he admitted to it. I, I did, was not trying to get attention by using this incident. Now that I realized I can, I'm going to. But uh, don't get me wrong. Now that, I've, now that I've stumbled on gold mine, I'm going to mine it for all it's worth. But I was that was not my original intention. Okay, there's something you need to understand here. First off, you were, take, you were taking that clip very, very much out of context. When I said that it was not my original intentions to milk it, but now I'm going to mine it for all it's worth, I'm talking about I stumbled on something that people really want to see, and so I'm going to double down and make more content that people want to discover. You're a YouTuber. You should understand this. When you make something that a lot of people like and want to see more of, it makes sense to make more of that thing so that you can keep your viewers happy. That's what I meant by that. That's not b milking something or being, you know, uh, trashy. That's just being a good YouTuber. Add to that that you notice that little smile there that I did about I was not trying to milk it, but uh, now, now I'm definitely going to for all it's worth. I was being tongue-in-cheek. I was making a joke. That's just my kind of sense of humor. You see that a lot through the live stream where I said things just being sarcastic and making a joke. I was, I was trying to lighten the mood and have fun because everybody was so upset and worried about the whole thing. And him saying you will not get a virus is completely outright bullshit. He doesn't know. Very nice words, but happens to be wrong. I know for sure that you would not get a virus. Do you think I would risk my whole reputation as a YouTuber um, and as an IT specialist just over a little live stream in a video game if I didn't know for sure. No, 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 no. I've worked with computers for years. I know how viruses work. I know how Windows works. I know how antiviruses work and little exploits and stuff, hacking, all that good stuff. Most of what people were talking about is not possible. It was science fiction. And that's why I was sure. All the stuff I saw on the internet, clearly fake. I could have made the same thing in Photoshop in less than an hour. That's how I knew that the whole thing was just a bunch of people just fear-mongering, and I was trying to do a live stream to just calm people down and tell them, hey, the game's safe, everybody's overreacting, just everybody calm down, play the game, have fun with it, right? It's safe to play. I was trying to reassure people using my expertise and my background in computers that everything was okay. My point is, I knew for sure that there was no virus and that there was zero risk of getting a virus at all, and I was right. And I'm sorry, just because you did r research on Reddit and Twitter doesn't make you an expert. That doesn't make it enough to where you can say, well, since I did this and didn't find anything, then this guy doesn't know what he's talking about either. That's not how it works, brother. I'm sorry. Nobody knows. The fact that I can't find any information on what this could potentially do to people, like this guy does not know the true implications of what could happen. Unless this guy is 100% certain, which I don't think he is, he is spreading false information that could ultimately harm anybody that plays this game. All right, the false information was that there was a virus or security threat in the game to begin with. I was trying to spread the truth that everything was okay and that people needed to stop freaking out and just go back to playing the game and enjoy it. I was trying to help people to see the game is safe and you guys can play. We don't need to just, you know, completely evacuate the game and leave it dead in the water. We just need to calm down, think rationally, and go back to playing the game. I would also advise people to, to stay away from the games right now, any source game, because, yeah, why, why risk it, right? Well, you know, I get not risking stuff. I mean, I had so many people tell me it's better to be safe than sorry. 
And that would make sense if there was actually something that was a really a risk, but there's not. I mean, you can say it's better to be safe than sorry if you're camping in the middle of the wilderness and there's po a possibility of there being a bear outside. It would be like, oh, better safe than sorry to stay in the tent. But if you're camping in your living room, you can't say the same thing because there's not going to be a grizzly bear in your living room. It's just, it's silly. I know, this might be a controversial opinion in the future. This, my word might be taken against me later on. I don't care. I don't give a shit. But this is bad. This is bad. Milking this situation, saying you will not get a virus in the title. You could get a virus. Nope, 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 nope. You cannot get a virus. It's not possible. It's science fiction. That's not how viruses work. That's not how people can't just make viruses that take advantage of some new exploit that's been found in a 24-hour period. And if they could, hypothetically, it would still have to get past your antivirus and your user account control. Things you would know if you actually did a little bit of research into computers and how they worked. Now, I know this because I've spent the good part of five years working with and learning about computers. And is not rocket science. It's pretty basic stuff if you just had a little bit of experience. And that was what I was trying to do was share my experience with others and say, hey, I'm kind of an expert in this and I want it. I want to help out. I wasn't trying to toot my own horn or be arrogant. It might have come across that way. And if it did, I'm sorry. But I was trying to use the information I had to help people out. And it did. It helped a lot of people out. And a lot of people said, hey, thank you. I'm so glad you told me about this because I was really, really worried and probably wouldn't have played the game for quite a while. And I would have missed it. But now I can go and play it with peace of mind. And by the way, guys, this video he made, he posted before Valve came out and confirmed that the leaks were nothing. But it doesn't matter because I already said there was no risk of getting a virus. And Valve basically just confirmed that. But once they did, a lot of people kind of came to me and were like, oh, hey, you were right. You know, I'm sorry for being like hateful and nasty in the stream. And you know what? It's no big deal. I'm not mad. I don't want to like hold everything above people. I'm just glad everything worked out and stuff went back to normal. The whole reason I did this was I was just trying to be helpful. I wasn't trying to be a scumbag milking the game for clout like this guy seems to think I am. I'm just... I was just trying to be helpful. Did I get some uh, extra views and subscribers from it? Absolutely. The channel's almost doubled in size, which is awesome, but that was not my original intention. And if anything, I think that's just great that it worked out that way and that people appreciate what I did enough to stick around for a while. I don't know. You might not get a virus. I really don't know. I don't think a lot of people know. That's the point. A lot of people don't know which is why the few that did, me included, were trying to come out and say, hey, this is how viruses and computers work, and we're here to tell you you're not going to get one and the game is safe. But taking that risk should ultimately be your decision. Do not listen to this guy. This guy's a scum, and he's literally just milking it take everything I said with a grain of salt, but if this guy is incorrect with his statement, he could be doing more harm than good and putting everybody that hears his message at risk. But that's up to you guys to listen to. I'm out. Here's, here's the thing, mate. I never told people, hey, you have to go play the game right now. I never did that. A lot of people said, well, you know, you could be right, but I still just don't want to take the risk. All I said was that there is no risk. I didn't say that people had to play the game. I, I'm right there with you. You know, people can make up their own minds what they do or don't want to do. I was just trying to provide a different point of view from somebody who's a little bit more experienced in technology and knows what they're talking about as far as the game and the game security is concerned. That was all I was trying to do. I was not being a scumbag. Um, I was not leading people astray. And there was no risk to what I was saying because I wasn't wrong. I wasn't wrong because that's just how computers work. And if you knew that, then it would be painfully obvious to you that what I was saying was true from the very get-go and that everybody else was being ridiculous. 
But that's the thing, you don't really know a whole lot about computers. Anyway guys, that's the end of his video. Honestly, he just kind of took one clip from my thing and just criticized me based off of what I was doing because of a supposed risk that wasn't there. Uh, I'm not mad at him about it. You know, I totally understand. Uh, it's a little hypocritical that he was saying I was milking stuff for views when he's kind of doing the same thing with my stream, except that he's criticizing, but whatever. Like I said, no hate to this guy or anything. He's just He just didn't really know a whole lot about what he was talking about and kind of reacted more emotionally, which... Honestly, was a lot of people's problem with this whole little incident. Uh, but don't don't go over and send any hate to him or anything, please. If you're if you're gonna leave some criticism on this video, make it constructive, make it nice. We don't want to have like, you know, a toxic community or anything, because that's no fun for anybody. But yeah, I want to take a few moments and respond to this. I thought it would be very very helpful. It is kind of exciting that somebody actually made a video about me. Um, it was kind of nice just because it kind of made me feel like I'd finally made it to be recognized and uh, talked about by a channel that's, you know, five times my size. So pretty, pretty cool at the end of the day. Anyway, guys, we will be live streaming tomorrow. We'll be doing some casual TF2 and we will be playing with viewers. Link popping up on the screen right now. So be sure and go over and check that out. And we'll have some more videos out soon. Some TF2 guides, interesting news, tips and tricks, all that awesome stuff. So be on the lookout for that as well. A big special thank you to our premium channel members, members of our T-Squad Plus program, Patchu07, Big Dan, and Quinn Nave. If you want to join this program, become a premium member, click the big blue join button down below. That's all for me for now, guys. Till next time, I've been Cast Gaming, and I will see you all at the top. I'm about to end this man's whole career. I, I, I,